Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another DIY video and today we'll be making two cushion covers and a throw. These are specially meant for winters and uh, these are more towards farmhouse style. So if you love rustic style designs, then I think you will love it. All the three designs which I'm going to DIY are hugely inspired from Pinterest and I have tried to create a budget friendly version of them using things which are available in our country. Now let's start our first DIY. Um, for our first DIY cushion cover, I'm trying to create a grain cushion cover. Grain cushion covers are very popular and they look very amazing. I love the stripes uh, which are mostly in red, blue and green. And uh, we don't get such fabric in India. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a canvas cloth and I'm going to um, paint these stripes. In order to make this cushion, I bought uh, the canvas cloth from a local shop. It was 140 rupees meter. So I bought one meter cloth and I used half a meter for creating a cushion cover. I asked my local tailor to stitch it for me and uh, here it is. So basically I, I invested 70 rupees for the cloth and 50 rupees for the stitching. Now in order to create um, stripes on this cushion cover, I'm going to use some masking tape and I'll be painting uh, in between the masking tape lines. I have folded the cushion cover in half so that I get the center of the cushion cover because the first broad stripe is going to be in the middle of the cushion cover so it gets easier if we fold it into halves. Now um, using the masking tape I am going to stick it in the straight line and if you're not sure if you are sticking it in the straight line you can draw up a line using a light pencil and you can use the eraser to remove the line later on. So our first section is ready and I am going to use this silicone mat which I got from Bulbul shopping app. Um, I will place it underneath the cushion so that there is no color bleed and it is washable so I can use it again and again for my different DIYs. This mat is heat proof as well so I can use it as a surface protector as well. Um, I mean when I am working on the glue gun etc. Then also I can use it uh, so that my table is safe. And now I'm painting between the lines in order to create our first stripe. Once the paint dries, then we will remove the masking tape and then we will move on to our other two stripes. The other two stripes are going to be thinner as compared to the middle stripe. I'm reusing the masking tapes uh, for creating thinner lines. You can avoid that and use fresh tape. It's up to you. And uh, if the line is not straight, don't worry. You can always correct it later on. So the stripes are done and now I want to paint a stenciled number on this cushion cover but I do not have a stencil so I am going to do some jugar. So basically I have taken a screenshot of the stenciled number and uh, I am going to um, put it beneath the cushion cover. I will place it exactly where I want um, the number. Make sure you increase the brightness of your mobile so that you can clearly uh, see the pattern so that you can trace it on the cushion cover. It's not very visible uh, on the camera but to me it was clearly visible so it was easier for me to trace the number. And once I am done tracing the number I am going to simply paint it in black using acrylic color. So the number is traced and now I'm going to paint it in black and I will show you the final look of this cushion cover towards the end of the video.
Now our next DIY is pom pom throw which is pretty basic but looks amazing. I have seen such throws on Pinterest so I bought a similar fabric, a textured fabric. Basically this is a cushion cover fabric which I bought from a wholesale seller on Instagram. He randomly messaged me and when I asked about the um, options he showed me this cloth and I really liked it. It's quite thick and good for um, um, winters and maybe light winters I would say and it looks really great so um, I bought around uh, 2 meters and it, it was around 250 rupees meter so it was, did not cost it me much and then again I took help of my local tailor and asked him to stitch the edges of this throw so that we have a cleaner looking throw these days I love DIYing my own throws because it gives me a lot of option to play with. I can choose any color and make any design. So I'm now going to make a pom pom and uh, we'll be making a budget friendly pom pom maker using a cardboard. I saw this trick on Pinterest and I really loved it because it made the process much more easier and you get consistent um, results like all the pom poms will look similar so basically we are trying to create a donut shape out of this cardboard So our pom pom maker is ready and now what I'm going to do is to simply wrap uh, the black wool around this uh, donut shaped pom pom maker. You will be doing double rounds of wrapping so that we get a slightly thicker pom pom. Once done wrapping you have to simply use the scissor to cut it out and then tie it in between so that it is secured and then take it out. Fluff it a little bit and then you can use a comb and it will give a much more uh, fluffier look to the pom pom. You can also trim it to give it a cleaner look. So I made 10 pom poms, 5 pom poms each side and I am going to stitch it, hand stitch them on the edges of the throw. I will show you the final look in the end. Now let's DIY our third cushion cover which is basically burlap cushion cover and this is my inspiration. I bought uh, this fabric from local shop again for 140 rupees meter and uh, again got stitched from my local tailor and basically I am going to use lighter shade of burlap to create um, a patch on the top of the cushion cover and before that I am going to um, write something on, on it and then paint it. So basically I have written home on this piece you can write anything you like and now I'm painting it in black you can even do embroidery if you like but the fabric is little bit uh, rough so it can be little tricky so be careful with your paint as well or you can face spillage. So the patch is ready but uh, burlap has a tendency of shredding so we have to secure it before uh, uh, finally stitching it on the top of the cushion cover. So I am going to use this mini handheld stitching machine from Bulbul shopping app. It works just like a stapler and makes the process much more easier. This is going to um, secure the burlap and uh, um, it works very conveniently for uh, small repairs you can always use it. I love using this uh, mini to swing machine for small repairs like uh, you know uh, sometimes the tablecloth uh, stitching comes off for small repairs this is perfect even while traveling if you want to avoid last minute accident you can always keep it with you. Once done I am simply going to stitch this patch over the burlap cushion cover and now it's time for the final reveal. See, within a very small budget, we have created these beautiful furnishings. You can even use them outdoors in your balcony for sitting in the sun during weekends or weekdays, whatever you want. Um, they can survive the heat easily and uh, they are very durable as well.
also i loved our simple pom pom throw it was pretty basic but looks amazing if you love neutral colors or you want to add a subtle touch to your um sofa you can always use it you can even place it on your bed in order to give a cozier look to your bed and also i love this burlap cushion cover i have added a little red in this because it was christmas season and please pardon my shabby stitching my daughter was running after me so i was literally standing while stitching it and do let me know what do you think about my stencil hack i really loved it because i think i saved some money over here and i'm going to use this trick in future as well all the fabric which i have used here has got a texture so it can easily collect linen during winter so it is pretty common so if you are also facing a similar issue you can use a, a linen remover i have got one from bulbul shopping app and i'm really loving it it is very compact and easy to use it is battery operated so you can even use it during your travel I even use it for cleaning my coats jackets because uh, lint is pretty common during winters So do check out this product on Bulbul shopping app if you like you can order it as well I'll be sharing the link in the description box I hope you guys enjoy today's video and if you have any question related to the DIY or if you want to give any feedback then please do comment in the comment section and do give us a like and a share and next week I'll be coming up with a DIY basket uh, wall which is going to be very interesting so please um do tune in next week and i'll see you soon thank you so much for watching metro mom